A nice and simple one for you today, folks. Five crazy Widow spots you can use on Esperancia, starting out with this one from Spawn. Come round the normal route you take from Spawn as Widowmaker and grapple up onto the top of this building. The whole roof section is a bit slidey, so wedge yourself into this corner against the wall and you will have sight of the opposite high ground. How cool is that? And then after you've got the utility out of this one, you can rotate around to the standard high ground after using this spot. How cool. All of the spots can be performed on both sides unless told otherwise, so do keep that in mind as we head into the second one, which you can use to follow up from the first one. Head around the side of the high ground and grapple up onto the central building. Follow the roof down to the other side and you'll be met with some ridges that you can actually stand on way, way up here. This will give you a pretty decent sightline for this next fight as your bot pushes around the first corner under their high ground. Alternatively, you can grapple up here and wedge yourself between the slant of the roof and the corner piece to give you a slightly better sightline of that far high ground. This third one is for the same part of the map. It is a risky one, but it can work wonders for the flanking Widowmaker style of play. Before they're heading through this main choke entrance, you can grapple up onto any one of these lanterns. I prefer the left one here, or what would be the right one on the other side, because you have an easier getaway option. You're locked in position while you're here, and it will make you jump every four seconds, so be wary of that. And once you've secured a pick or you've blown your cover, you can grapple up onto the roof to get the hell out of there back on the other high ground. This fourth spot is a small but useful one you can abuse only on this side of the map. This box here gives you a very sneaky and unexpected angle on the high ground where the other Widowmaker or Sniper would usually hold, so make sure you use this and it's very important to crouch as soon as you get up there, otherwise it is not so sneaky. And the fifth and final spot is a very interesting one involving the use of Widowmaker's sitting emote. This little rock on the edge is actually just graphical and you can walk right through it. By facing the opposite direction, then using your sitting emote, you are almost completely covered. Now, I say almost, your foot is still on display, and you can use this incredible spot to do one of two things. To flank behind them as Widowmaker, or even to contest the push bot from here and leave them baffled as to how it's being contested. One thing to note is that doing it on the other side is not as effective as the rock is significantly smaller, but I hope you still enjoyed these spots and let me know what you want me to cover next down in that comments section.